Yara, can I get into action now? Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. You know me, I'm all about action. I need to get into action. You're all about action. So we're excited that for over 30 years, we've been able to come alongside you, not only selling and buying real estate over 3,117 times, and it's way bigger than that now, but also coming alongside you in flourishing within relationship, building your faith, building your wealth, building your wisdom, and even your fun. So really 30 years of building life, business, and home. Can you get into action now? As long as you're not running ahead. Yeah, that's, you know what? God gave you as my helper. I really like that because many times. You really like that? Could you say that again, actually? <laughs> okay, look straight uh, into the okay. camera and okay. tell everybody what it you just said. It was recorded. Do I need I know, to say it again? Say it again. Yeah, yeah. You like I liked it. it. Okay. Yeah, I liked it. I'm very pleased that God gave me you as a helper, a okay. helpmate. Okay. Yes. That's good. I like that. Because I have a tendency to say mm -hmm. yes to things mm -hmm. before considering whether it's best in God's eyes. And right. Yeah. So is, I think, running ahead it, with, before hearing from God is a form of disobedience. That's what right. I was trying to say. Okay. And so what we're going to look at in this episode and learn a little bit about is running ahead is disobedience and not acting may also be disobedience. Yeah. So it's how do you act at the right time mm. and in the right way? That's a good question. Right. Maybe how we do you do that, Ken? Contemplate that. <laughs> Maybe we should come back <laughs> later because you you've moved ahead and moved forward quickly a few times. Mm -hmm. And what's it caused for you? Well, usually you stumble, and sometimes when I move ahead, it's out of pride or independence. And then sometimes, you know, they say pride comes before a fall. I think it's hubris. Is that the word? Hubris comes before a fall. Um, but sometimes I don't move. And then that disobedience as well. So what's, what is the speed at which to move? And then there's other sayings that say, if you're not in movement, God can't steer you. He can't direct you. So sometimes people are paralyzed and not doing anything. That's not good either. Right. So what's the solution? Like, I love all these problems, but all, you're the problem solver, the solution-oriented guy. Uh, yeah. So, but this problem, God has the answer to, not me. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's listening. So it's, it's listening. It's being in listening again. And it, it's such a tricky wicket, so to speak. Right. Yeah. And how do you listen? You read the word, you pray, you meditate, you get quiet. Sometimes you ask your spouse. <laughs> you love that one, huh? Well, because you know, sometimes I'll go, "Oh yeah, let's let's do this. Let's buy that. Let's do let's let's go here." Let's and you go, "Did you pray about that?" I go, "Oh, oh, I forgot to pray about that." I think you know. Sometimes I hear from God, and I think it's Him, but I guess if I don't communicate with Him, I don't have that assurance, right? And so sometimes it's nothing more than slowing down enough to make sure that it's not just me wanting what I want. Because hmm. sometimes I just, we've talked about wanting it yeah. my way. I just want what I want. And so then I, I can tune out what doesn't align with what right. I believe. And then other times I hear very, very clearly and know that it's not, it's not necessarily in alignment with my personal thinking. So I'm thinking about a time right now in 2009 when we were at a marriage conference and we weren't there because we were really struggling that much at the time, but we had friends in from Toronto. We were hosting a client event and a bunch of our realtor friends came from Toronto because I was still pretty healing from being sick. And so you have such a good memory. It's because I'm emotionally connected to this. I don't remember this. anybody else came with us or was, what was going on. There was like that. nine other people with us. <laughs> And they came down know. from Toronto and up north and all over because they were a real estate community. Mm -hmm. And they knew I was struggling. We were having a client event. So they came to help decorate the tables and do the hosting and support our hundreds of clients that came out to that event. Mm -hmm. And so then while they were here, 
They stayed with us, which was awesome. And then we went to a marriage conference and many of them didn't have a faith. They were, you know, some of them were struggling in relationships, some were thriving, but we really weren't going for ourselves. We didn't think. Mm -hmm. And yet when we were there, Francis Chan was specifically the person that spoke most clearly or in his message, I heard, I haven't, and I didn't hear this like in a thousand words, but in what he had to say or audibly, I heard from the Lord that we, our marriage had not been put back together again, was not thriving solely for our benefit. It was thriving. That yeah, it was. It Did wasn't it corrected wasn't? because of us. We right. got the benefit of having a great marriage. Right. And so what I heard that day is your marriage is not only for you, and it is meant to be multiplied in the lives of many others. And so I sat on that. How long did you I sit did on that? I did share it with you right away. How so long did you try to hatch it? Like, how long did you sit on it? <laughs> Way too long. Before I was willing, because it was scary to start to share the truth of the journey we've been on and start to share our stories and our mess ups. Because some of you are, I'm sure, if you've listened to a number of Life's Inside Tracks, you're thinking, that stuff is nuts. Like, I don't understand those people. I don't know what's <laughs> wrong with those people. It shouldn't be that hard. We don't find it that hard. And yet we knew we were to share the transparency in it because the person that needs to hear the message, that's who we are recording it for. And yet I still didn't want to do it. So I waited a long time mm. before I started being willing to be exposed. Like it feels exposing. Yeah. And even yeah. talking about things of the spirit, um, talking about praising God for how things happen or what he's saying to us, I've been holding all that in for fear and maybe even pride. You know, the two, the two twins. The there, double that, punch. The double punch mm -hmm. that stop us from being obedient many times is fear and pride. Mm -hmm. And Lately, we've been praying for some people in our lives that, you know, whether they're couples or not, or men for me in my life that that um, can be peers, leaders as well, right? And God's brought in a few people in the last little while who are very spiritual, very spirit-led, very open with how they make their decisions and why they made the decision to do whatever they've done. And how God actually has directed them in their yes. decision-making and praising and glorifying God boldly and openly. Yes. And, and they're not necessarily inside a ministry. No, they're not. They're in business. One of them owns a mortgage company. And really, it's the answer of that prayer. Now, maybe I didn't think God would answer it that way. You didn't want him to. Well, probably not. But <laughs> I never even really thought of it, except for a few weeks ago, I said, you know what? Those men that have come in, that, and I don't love Zoom calls because I'm Zoomed out, but those <laughs> men, they live in different towns, different countries even, some yeah. of them. And Zoom is a, a way of connecting. And we sat and we broke bed. We ate while they ate, and we just had a, a good time. So God, working in God's timing is perfect. Right. So we are thankful for when God answers prayer and sometimes when he doesn't answer prayer. Yeah. We're honored to be your advocates on the journey of real estate and creating a life exponential. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward.